Hi, my name is Chris Peterson. I'm a systems engineer in UCS. I'm going to talk a little bit about how to install titanium on the rack, power it up, talk about the port numbering, how to pull out cards, and put them back in. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is a little bit about the back of the titanium system. So my titanium system has six card slots in the back. They're numbered um, starting with 11 through 16. And there's four power supplies here and eight I-pass cable connectors. These are numbered one through four, then five through eight on the bottom row. So these I-pass cables are the PCI Express cables that are going to connect to your host system. If you follow one of these up, up here, you'll see it's plugged into a host system, in this case, a C6100. On the C6100, these cards, the cables plug into these host interface controller cards, also known as a PIC card. You'll need this in every board that you want to connect the titanium system to. To pull the cable out, it's just a little latch mechanism. Just wiggle it out. Installing it's the same thing. Just make sure it clicks and the little tabs are seated on the connector. We also have this Ethernet connection. This is for the BMC of the titanium. So the first thing you'll want to do when you have a titanium in a rack is go ahead and plug in your four power cords. Power supplies are N plus one redundant. So that means you can lose a supply and still continue to keep the system up. Supplies are also hot swap. So you can replace one if it fails. Now that all four cords are in, the titanium will take 30 seconds to a minute or so to initialize. At that point, it's going to power up. You can tell when it's powered up because all of the cards are going to power up as well, and you'll see the green LEDs turn on. The cables themselves are mapped to specific slots in the system, um, and there's a table that will show you the mapping from the cables to the cards. This will allow you to identify which cables are connected to which hosts and then which cards. Fans are spinning up and the cards are powering on. So let's walk around to the front of the system. There's 10 slots on the front, numbered 1 through 10. The system's powered up. Cards are powered up. ID light, should you need it, is here. Now the system as a whole doesn't generally need to be powered on and off. It's usually just the first time you install it or take it out. Uh, if you need to do that, you can use this power button. In general, you won't need to. If you want to power the car off to replace it, you just need to hold down this button for two to three seconds. Release it. The card will turn off. You can pull the card out by lifting this tab. Pull it straight out. Take your replacement card. Reinstall it. Make sure it's fully seated. And then power it back up. And you're done. This whole operation requires that the host be powered off. So if you're going to replace the card or the cable, make sure the host is off. Otherwise, that's about it for the initial setup with the titanium.